Thank you so much for clicking on my video. My name is Liza Live and welcome to my channel. So this weekend is like a lovely weekend. The sun's out, there's a few things happening. And I thought, you know what? I'll come with you guys, you know, bring you guys with me. So um, first things first, I'm going to get my nails and my toes done because baby girl, my toes are crusty and <laughs> my friend's having a barbecue at um, like a house barbecue, but it's like open, like day party type vibe thing so yeah we're going for that it's really exciting let's go so it's been such a mad thing from nail shop to getting ready like i'm just gonna give you guys a rundown at the nail shop here yeah, why is it so hard to like speak up personally i always go to this lady she's the reason i'm even late because i booked an appointment with her i called so basically i thought i was gonna walk in and i remembered like if saturday is gonna be busy she said if you want me come at half four so i was like do you know what it's about an hour anyway so yeah like this lady said come at half four if you come at half four you have me that's fine because she's the one that's able to do the designs that i like and stuff first of all yeah let me tell you guys let me tell you guys nail appointments don't work like if you have an appointment at nail shop it doesn't work because as soon as you get in and there's people in front of you best believe they're gonna go before you appointment or no appointment no one's gonna treat you nice just because <laughs> you thought you had an appointment you're gonna wait if there's 10 people in front of you you're gonna wait just like anyone else so yeah, forget that appointment, forget that appointment thing. Anyways, I'm so pissed because like, if, it, if I knew I wasn't gonna have her, then I would have just like gone into the shop and just waited for anyone else to do it. I waited till half four went back, only for me to get done by some next guy who's new, by the way. Like my, I don't know if you can see, this part of my nose is burning because he's clearly new at using the thingy and he was basically shaving my my fingers off i just had to like keep telling him sorry can you calm down long he also got the color wrong because i wanted this design and he used like a, a silver that wasn't like metallic and it wasn't like it, it wasn't obvious you couldn't see the silver so i was like sorry um actually he asked me because he knew he knew that this isn't making sense he's like did you like it and i said you like I said no it's not obvious I don't know if you need to do like a second or third coat so we can see it and you can see he's not happy with me not liking it but it's like with me I'm always such a scary cat I can't speak up but anyways I was like do you know what do you know what great British pounds nowadays like I am not gonna throw away money and go away for three four weeks and not be happy with my nails I said nope I'm not gonna lie, can we have a darker silver? He goes, no, there's no darker silver. That's when I turned around and I said to my woman over there, I said, bro, you always do my stuff for me. I showed this nail design to the guy. If he wasn't, you know, usually the lady will show me the color as well, actually, so we can decide if that's what I want. And if the, the color that I want, they don't have it, if they don't have the color that I want, then we can, I can think of a different design or something. Do you know what I mean? You're not gonna cut the, the, the shape and everything and then later on tell me this is the only silver you've got. So the lady now comes to my rescue, gets me a, a darker silver, and finally, um, even after I said, can you do the water drop design thing? She goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know. And I had to ah, keep bringing back the woman to show the style that I want. This is why I like to go to the same person that always knows how I like my thing so it can get sorted, you know? Anyways, I'm talking, I'm waffling. Long story short, the nail's kind of cute. 
the design is not exactly how I thought it would be but nevertheless I actually can I kind of love it so we move but yeah we're in Luton now my boyfriend just picked up his friends or a couple of his friends we're literally meant to go to London I don't know which part of London it is but anyways I'll show you guys where I'm going you're coming with me to a barbecue and then I don't know if I mentioned but I'll be spending like the rest of the weekend with my lovely friend Vanessa if you've been rocking with me for a while then you know Vanessa from Ghana vlog part one if you haven't watched it go run it up but yeah like I'm just gonna stay over at hers because we live far away and guys this is like a long run but let's get to know each other is it just me or is it annoying like when all your friends live so far away and it's like especially if they live in London we all know London they charge for breathing the air that you breathe you have to pay for it bro nothing is cheap as soon as you leave your house l'argent money sika et chico is gone so like it's kind of hard and it's like this summer the weather has been nice there's been so many things happening so i'm really trying my hardest like to link up with the people that actually want to see me and i want to see well i want to see all my friends anyways but like whenever there's an event or something happening i just want to take the opportunity do you know what i mean and i just said to her like you know what do you think and she's like yeah come over like come over and i thought do you know what we have the same motive like we have like a mutual friend whose barbecue we're going to today so i'm just gonna like i pack my suitcase and everything i'm just gonna follow her to hers afterwards and like have a nice little sleepover and like a nice little sunday in london like she's gonna show me around london like papa apparently there's a town called kumasi town kumasi city or something me i'm here gonna need me me gonna need people to see papa papa to that me i never step foot there like whoa if there's a kumasi in in flipping london i need to have seen it do you know what i mean anyways so yeah i'm excited for that tomorrow hopefully but I'm, i've been talking a lot wow let's go to the barbecue Let's go. 
It's actually every morning. Um, yeah, we're landing, landing at Bonteso <laughs> with my babes, the driver in charge. Come on, her car is so cute. Basically, what we're doing today well, she woke up really early. She's making me feel, well, she's made me food. I'm gonna vlog it for you guys to see. It's easy, nice food. Ghana, babe, fine face, fine body, fine cooking. Fine face, fine body, fine cooking. Fine face, fine body, I'm gonna do a little bit of like African shopping here. So she's taking me to show me around and I'm bringing you with me. And so come with me, let's get to Peckham. Yep. Guys, so I'm in ends, you know? You get me? I'm gonna see I'm gonna meet the roadman at the Peckham streets. You get me? I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm just going to get plantain, please. So, 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 Gave me food and the food that she cooked and everything else went to film it but listen the food looks so good it looks so nice i couldn't i even forgot about you guys i ate ready just gonna like pack me some takeaway i'm excited it was nice and she even got my favorite like if you know me you know i love my plantain got all that sorted for me and yeah so um Sadly, every good thing that has starts. So I'm talking to the vlog. I was like, hey, I'm not, okay? I'm not going crazy. No, I hope not. <laughs> everything, every good thing that has a beginning has an end. And I guess, is that how they say it? I don't know. I don't know. So, unfortunately, I got my ticket for 7.50. So I'm going to get ready to go. So I'm going to get ready now and get this train back to an end. I'm so sad but it's what it is. See you on the other side. It's been such a lovely weekend honestly like so nice. My friend's family, <sighs> they've been so lovely. Um, yeah so lovely, successful, I wouldn't say productive. No, productive because I did manage to get my um, videos ready for upload on Friday. I just haven't uploaded it because I haven't got the clearance from the company that sent me the item, so that's a bit mad. 
Um, I'm gonna try and vlog like my daily activities, like my weekly activities, because usually I would like wait till I've got something important happening or something good happening before I think of like vlogging or doing something. But guys, my friend was like, listen, you can't, if you do that, you're never gonna vlog and you're never, you're never gonna like properly like share your experience and stuff so I was like do you know what it's true like I don't have to wait till something's happening before I want to try and start posting two videos a week guys this is a big challenge and I can't believe I'm saying this but I want to try and start posting two videos a week because I need to hit my target of getting monetized and I need to like you know do more of what I love but obviously I don't have a full-time job so it's not easy but I'm putting myself to the challenge I'm putting myself to the task so we're working on that but yeah, I'm gonna try and like vlog often, maybe like weekly vlogs or daily vlogs. Like, let me know if you guys are interested. If you're not, I think I love doing it, so I'm gonna do it anyways. <laughs> the London is mad, man. Every time I come here, I'm just so scared. But it's like, why are you scared? It's just a city. I just like such a village girl because I've always grown. I grew up in like a smaller city in Takradi, Ghana, and then I've um, always been in like smaller cities. When I lived in Germany, I was in like a very small town and I lived in a small town here in, in England as well. So it's like, whenever I'm going to the city, I just get anxious. I got this weird anxiety, especially if I'm traveling by train. Whenever I'm driving, it's like calm. But like by train, it's just like, oh, public transport, get me out of here. Like I would actually walk, like I would literally walk the whole, across the whole city. Like I would pick doing that over again, public transport, but obviously it's impossible. Make sure you guys like, like this video, subscribe if you're enjoying it, and I'll see you on the train. Guys, so I'm in Northampton now. Thank God for traveling mercies, found good for everything. Anyways, I'm here, but I have to re I have to give it a little. Oh, I relive my biggest nightmare. Flipping London Underground, London Tube, London, whatever you want to call it. Do you know how scary that thing is, babe? How's London scary, bro? bro? I got to eat. So tell me, first of all, is Houston the same as London Houston? Same. Fam, all I all I know is yeah, I've got a ticket off train line, and it says the from flipping um, London Blackfriars to London to Euston, and then Euston, which is the train station, to flipping and then. And I get to the station and I'm like, wait, why am I not seeing London Euston? I'm just seeing Euston, whatever. Yeah, everyone knows there's two different stops, man. I literally asked you, baby, you said you didn't say no, anything. You didn't explain anything for you to be seen at the Alifia. Anyways, like, guys, so you, I'm just seeing Euston. Like, I'm panicking, thinking, am I in the wrong place? I'm seeing a dead end. I'm panicking, guys. Luckily, there's this guy, like, he's so nice. He just came out the back. He must have seen me like just moving mad with my eyes and just looking everywhere and starting to panic thinking I've gone on the wrong train, yeah? He came and he's like, oh, can I help? And I said, oh, please. And then I showed him my ticket and then he was like, yeah, you're at the right place, don't panic. All it is, you need to get out of this train state. Like, I don't know what, what this place, the Houston thing is. I need to get out of it, yeah? Turn left and then I'll go to the proper big station. The overground, the overground London station. Oh my gosh, guys. It's just so scary, but anyways, by God's grace, I managed to find my way and I'm back home. It's been a great weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed this little vloggy vlog. Make sure you leave a comment if you want to see more of it. And thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. Bye.